Hello everybody, Reggie Time here with the second of two videos and um, pretty much just urging you guys to sack off your speed poker grind to try and find more poker pleasure and more co poker profits from the regular tables at whatever site it is you play on. Um, but at the end of the last video I went on quite an impassioned plea to you guys to to um, ditch the speed poker, increase your if you increase your playing pleasure and increase your profits by playing reg tables, I'm not going to go on that little rant again um, too much. Um, if you want to hear that and you just start like the first video of mine you've seen, go back to my previous video, um, the one that was released on the 26th of October, and watch like the last few minutes of that, you'll hear it. But the, basically, the upshot of it was um, the rake is really hard to beat. The, the, you know, playing in a high rake environment, you need to win it like. 12 big to 100 just to cover your rake fill up the micro stakes maybe less than that depending on how loose or tight you are um so you need to be in games with players that are losing at 40 50 60 bigs 100 not playing against a bunch of nits who are losing at like maybe three or four bigs 100 so yeah basically you get in games where um your rake bills covered by whales and just have more fun so um yeah go back and watch the previous video if you want to Get a bit more meat on the on the board. Just gonna get straight into the hands. These are hands taken from a session I played on Wednesday night on on iPoker. Yeah, I was table selecting pretty hard, and we got in some pretty pretty good games. Um, so this is like the the second half of the highlights from that session. We have King Queen if off in the biggest of blinds here. It seems. Um, let's see. Who's in this pot? So the person opening here, remember from the previous video, there was a player who was maybe like a a fish or a really bad reg playing pretty aggro stats, 34, 22, etc. Um, this is the same chap. He's open to 3x. We've had a um, player playing... Ah, hang on, no. The guy opening is 43 slash 6, and the other guy calling is 34 22. Sorry, it's, it's like the, the replayer. For, this is why we have to use upswing. The replayer for the iPoker skin I use is fucked in holding match. We've fucked for a while, um, which is really quite annoying. So we have to use this and then get my stats for reference from holding manager. Anyways, we flop ourselves a top pair against a relatively passive opponent. We lead out pretty big on this board. I think like our hand has decent equity against our opponent's range. I think our range has decent equity against our opponent's range. Um, you know, we, we block some of the stuff that can call, but I just think our hand wants to bet pretty big here. So we did. Our opponent went all in. And we're like, all right, okay. Uh, I guess we call. Um, top pair, good kicker. The draws this player can have, I guess. Um, actually, I remember this hand now, and I fucked up the butcher at the start. This is the thirty-four twenty-two. Don't know if he's shit reg aggro fish. Don't know what he is, but he's not good. Um, he goes all in. I'm like, well, fine. You probably don't have pocket jacks. Um, it's really hard for you to have queen jack, given that you know blockers, just blockers on the board, just blockers in our hand. Maybe you've got pocket fours. I don't fucking know. But in she goes. Uh, and he had this hand, which I think this jam was rather ambitious from him. I mean, our rage for squeezing and then big bet in this flop is not going to contain many bluffs. And the bluffs it does contain aren't folding. Um, I, I just don't have air in this spot. I don't even know if we're meant to have any air in this spot whatsoever. I think our rage in this spot for like C bet in this board is just going to be over pairs, top pair, and like really strong draws. 10 9 is doing shit against pretty much all of them. I don't like our opponent's line. Um, and I liked it even more when he didn't get there. So, happy days. Another one to the good guys. <laughs> On to the next hand. We have Ace Queen of Clubs. We have a player who's limped. We have a player who's... Ah, yes, this guy was a tight regular. This guy was a whopper. So, the question we had first had here, do we want a three bet? I mean, this three big blind I saw from the small blind is shit. It's just fucking dog shit. Um, it's just not, you know, just don't use this size, it's fucking awful. And then um, the question was, do I want a three bet here? Probably knock this guy out, and then I slate myself against his, his like, just for <coughs> sorry, just force him to continue with 
or is a range that's less good for us or do we just call allow this dude to come in and um because this is where most i mean with this hand out we'll, we'll ruin him money from both players long term but this is the guy we're making most of the money from so um i elected just to call to allow the whale to come in the pot we flop ourselves pretty nicely the regular bets one third pot i mean i get it but i don't love it we call recreational bear calls we turn ourselves a flush with a royal flush draw villain now slows down sorry the regular it's just you can ignore him now he's just he's not in it he's just not there you know maybe once in a while he's like just range checking a jack or what have you but he's just not there he's captured swap um so we value bet just to make sure we try and extract all the money from seat one seat one decides to raise but not go all in okay okay there well now we're all in he calls and we had him cooler to flush with flush over flush that is truly fascinating but i think it vindicates our decision to trap pre because most of our money well not to trap but to allow seat one to come in pre because he is going to be the source of most of our profit rather than a guy isolated out of the out of the small blind to too small of a size so had he raised like to a proper size maybe we would then have three bet maybe he would then have folded and then maybe we wouldn't have won that pot so happy days i'm glad it worked out today i'm glad it worked out the way it did we have two aces we raise under the gun i was begging for a squeeze here and thankfully we finally got one it took its time booking coming but we finally got one and the player squeezing had statistics of let me see um 63 slash oh no hang on hang on hang on that's not true it's a lie 77 slash 54 with a 66 percent three bet over the over a very small sample so the guy he was in there he was in there he was mixing it up he was making moves um we have two aces we make it 20.5 big blinds which in hindsight i think is against these players just make it bigger they're not folding you know whatever they've squeezed with they ain't folding it uh, so i should have made it bigger but whatever but some random guy just decides to come along for a cold call and another guy decides to come along for a cold call and uh, so and then the original razor calls so we've got seat three who's just called twice here whose stats are 63 slash five no they're not no they're not 63 slash 13 sorry this replay is fucked um three eight nine flop seems as good as anything for our two aces and um, this player decides to bet really small like two dog two euro 60 and he said nope we're gonna put more money in than that this guy decides nope we're putting even more money into it or did he just call no he decides we'll put it on more money in. so this is going properly off the rails this guy's like yeah well i'll come along man well, whatever no problem just flick it in see what happens and we because we can't reopen the betting and um, we just have to call so we're in a four bet pot multi-way there's infinite big blinds in the middle um, and it doesn't matter what the turn card is because there's like just no money behind this player now gets three euros into it does, does it tell you these games are good now if i mentioned the merits of game selecting this is it right here right now these are the merits of game selecting we're just like yeah whatever mate we're all in he's like yeah whatever so am i and he just has the queen nine this guy had the ace four absolutely bonkers um yeah we obviously lose the pot but fuck me you love to see it you just absolutely love to see it um it's not fun <laughs> when that happens in a whatever size fucking pot that was but um yeah you love to see it you love to see it. you love to see the games being that good and you can get in those types of games too if you just make the effort to try and find them <clears throat> limp limp 7x call call what a fucking surprise by now just assume everyone's a whale i can't be asked checking my stats anymore because um everyone's just a fucking whale aren't they check check pretty big bet from us um you know we're not going to be betting super frequently on this board uh, we're not gonna have too many bluffs on this board because i mean just look at it 
And, you know, in fact, we just have a little bus on this board. It's just check back or just pure value. You pay big. Hope they're in there with something worse. <coughs> we get check raised small. Well, not small, but non all in by someone who probably could just as well be just fucking rip. I was like, right, fine, mate. I'm all in. If you've got a set, hallelujah. Just almost never has two pairs, but never say never. I guess five three suit with an eight five suit is a thing. Um in Wales limp core ranges. Whatever. Um we just go all in. I mean we only we realistically only use the sets here. Um out of product causes. And he's got the um he's got the ten eight. Well played sir. We nice check raise. And we held. And I was like, okay then. Game selection FTW. On to the next one. We have two jacks. We open. We get a call. We get a squeeze. We get a four bet. Because this guy was fucking psychotic. I remember this sound well. This guy was fucking psychotic. He was he was just like never stops clicking the raise button. Um he he back raises us to whatever that fucking side it had to on the on the thingy. They're like, yeah, fine, mate, whatever. You never stop clicking raise. I'm all in. He's all in. Absolutely delighted with the situation. Fuck off. How on earth does somebody... I remember this guy. I can't be asked pulling his stats up because it's not even accurate in here because it depends when the hand was played, etc. and all this bullshit. I don't even know how he does it. But anyways, this guy was f fucking mental. He never stopped clicking raise at any point. Or very, very rarely, shall we say. Probably did sometimes, but he was just mental. How how does he then just have aces when I have jacks? I mean, this is like the happiest all I've ever done in my life. And the cunt just has aces. Just just fuck off, mate. Oh, hello. Isn't that nice? And this shows, kind of shows, like, how little you should pay attention to all in EV. And there's been a few of that in the session last night where, like, versus a villain's range... You know, our our hand was just doing incredibly well. Sometimes we got it in bad, sucked out. Sometimes we got it in, you know, good or in a in a coin flip situation or whatever. Like the Kings versus the ten eight previously, we got it in where we were crushing it, but we're still running, still running, running above EV to actually, you know, scoop the whole pot. And all EV is just nonsense because I last like lost so much money here in in terms of all in EV. But versus villains range, we just had the nuts. So um, try not to focus too hard on on your all in EV it's just a small factor of um how well or how badly you are doing. It's it's not it's not something that you want to be too heavily focused on. Um because ultimately over the long haul it's gonna be pretty close to where it should be. On to the next hand, the second last hand of the session or of this video. We elect to just overlimp here with the sevens on the button. We don't flop a set. I bet you lot I thought a set was coming, didn't you? Check, 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 check. I check back two. Turn into five. Check, 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 check. I decide to bet this river small. I bet this turn small. Just think we probably have the best hand. Um, we get a call. So we get get to this river. We river a full house, and there's only one sixty six in the pot, which is a bit disappointing when you've got a full house. An opponent then bets full pot, and he did this at the absolute speed of light. I'm like, oh, cool. You've got a slow played four, or more likely you've got a six. Um, so I just went super greedy, went for the lot. He couldn't call quickly enough on the paired board, and he just had the A6 off, uh, and that was all very nice. So again, not a particularly interesting pot, but this guy, you know, again, the power of game selection, we've been found someone who's limping A6 off suit under the gun, who's putting no money in the pot, and then by the time he gets to the river, he's happy to put, like, 50 bigs in on this board. He's put no money in until this point. He's put 2.33 big blinds into the pot. And on the river, he's crammed 50 big blinds in on a paired board with a, not even the nut straight. Um, yeah, what a time to be alive. <laughs> Last hand. We open the kings, we get a call, we get another call, we get another call. Nine deuce deuce flop. Check, check. I'm presuming I'm just gonna bet really big here. Yep, we do. Fold. 
check min rays. Um, I'm guessing I'm just all in. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, 9x, gonna call. Flush draws, maybe, if he's got a deuce and how to do you. Oh, I didn't go all in. I just called. Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Turn seven. Our opponent checks. So at this point, I'm like, right, okay, he's maybe had a nine that he's testing the water with. Maybe he's had a flush draw. He doesn't want to, he doesn't got the balls to bet again on the turn. Um, I mean, our Kings is just like, it's just a nut here, isn't it? You know, it's like so unlikely that, I mean, the guy could have a deuce, I guess. But when that check min raised check, it's going to be 9x a hell of a lot of the time. And some of the random nonsense, um, do I just bet? to try and get caught by 9x, try and get caught by flush draws, etc. Now he springs the trap and goes all in. And at this point, I thought, uh-oh, we are fucked here. Maybe he still has a 9 once in a while, but this is just like do sex all day, isn't it? I've been trapped. He trapped me. Pay that man his money. Sorry for that awful impression. I promise I will never, ever do that again. I almost want to go back and restart the whole video because that was... I could have done a bit of impression. But I didn't have the confidence when I started it. And I didn't even plan to start it. It just fucking happened. I can only apologise. Um, yeah, that was that was, uh, that was was shit. Anyways, it wasn't as shit as, as this hand. Because I called drawing absolutely stone dead or thereabouts. Uh, and, I, and yeah. Man, we're just going to go broke here versus the wheel. Because, yeah, we're just going to go broke, aren't we? Um, until we hit the king on the river. And then we don't go broke. So, yeah, the, the end of this session, um, I think I played for, whatever it was, three and a half hours, 1,200 hands. I ended up making, um, like, 31, 31 euros, something, or dollars, something like that. Um, I ran at 13 bigs 100, uh, but my all-in EV was minus 20 bigs 100, which, when I'm playing in, like, some of the softest games I played in for many, many a moon, Booking a win in those games with a minus 20 big blind all in EV 100 win rate is like, what the fuck is that, Rich? How's that fucking happened? How have you managed to get it in so badly, but run so pure? Um, and it's just one of them things. It, 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 I mean, obviously, I had a huge, I had an enormous edge in those games last night. Uh, another night in, in those games, over those 1,200 hands, I could easily have won like seven or eight bangs. The games were that soft. Uh, there were spots where we didn't run bad that had nothing to do with all, where we did run bad that were nothing to do with all in EV. And again, it just goes to show what nonsense all in EV is because I, I, theoretically I lost at 20 bigs 100 over 1200 hands in some of the softest games ever last night. Uh, but I just, there's no way I was losing in those games, obviously. So yeah, it, it just goes to show the nonsense of all in EV. Again, as I said in the last video, it goes to show the value of just playing in games where there's just fucking, even just one massive whopper at the table. If you've got like, one massive whopper, you know, a couple of shit regs and one other good reg or whatever, it's a good game. You want to be in it. You want to be grinding it. You want to sit there and you want to grind for three, four, five. As long as the, like, the games you're in a good, sit there, grind it out, stick the matchsticks in your eyes. Uh, whereas I see these speed poker players and I'm like, oh, I need a break after an hour. I need a break after an hour. And I get that because I can't put long speed poker sessions in either because it's just so so dull. It is, it's way more draining. Um as pathetic as that sounds because i mean how draining can it be just sitting there or laying there as i do clicking clicking the fucking mouse but it is it's like it, it does it drains your mental energy way quicker playing speed poker than it does playing regular tables against fucking morons so yeah um as i did in the last video i'm going to do it again here please 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 if, if you're a if you're a loyal viewer of my channel i want you to do well um if you're not a loyal viewer of my channel then I guess maybe I still want you to do well, but yeah, fuck you, I don't really care that much. Um, but yeah, if you're playing speed poker games, we said it in the last one, and many, many, many of you are, probably the majority of people who watch my content, the majority of people who play Microsoft's Cash are playing speed poker. Please, 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 just try reg tables, whatever you're at, stars, triple eight, GG, whatever. I mean, the party poker reg table situation seems shit, so maybe not there. Um, I poker, Unibet, Sky poker, just get on the fucking reg tables. If you can't quit the reg, if you find it really hard to quit speed poker on the site you're on, try and find a site that doesn't offer it. Play there. 
um, to get in the regular table games. Yeah, you'd be a bit more bored at the start because instead of getting 500 hands per hour, you may be going to get 250 or 300 hands per hour. But at the end of the day, the week, the month, the year, you're going to have won so much more fucking money. You're going to have so much more pleasure that um, you will come back to me eventually and say, you know what, Reg, quitting speed poker was the best thing I ever did. So please, please give it a whirl for yourself. Um, I'm off for the weekend now. Looking forward to watching some racing, some football, and um, just generally chilling out with my current wife. Um, so yeah, we're going to leave it there. We'll be back with more videos next week, probably. Uh, but until then, See you later. Stay safe, everybody. Take care and fuck the Tories. Bye-bye for now.